Hello, welcome to the Long Island Weather Update. Uh, looks like we got some low clouds kind of stretching over Long Island after some sunshine today. Today was actually was not a bad day at all. Uh, show you what it looked like outside today, if we can. Uh, as usual, it didn't open all the pictures, but okay, well, it'll be good enough, I guess. Um, so, yeah, we had some cumulus popping up over the north part of the island, and then the uh, sky's kind of cleared out a little bit later. As you can see, we had some sunshine there. Um, and the, see, yeah, some high clouds, and it was just over by Southern's Lake. It was really nice. Uh, we did have some sunshine, though, so it made it, uh, made it pretty nice, you know. It was nice to see some sun out uh, and a little bit of blue sky, slight bit of haze, but nothing terrible. And then toward the evening, these other clouds kind of came in. We had some cumulus uh, come in, and then uh, some, of these, uh, some of these other clouds coming in, these fractal cumulus from the water. It's just a stratus deck that you get when the air is damp. Uh, that we're getting right now. So um, that's what you see here on this satellite image. I'll roll this to the 72 frame satellite. And you can see again the uh, cumulus there that kind of developed and then got pushed in. But it looks like a sea breeze boundary or something. I have this front that's kind of just washed out over us. If you look at the weather map, you'll see there's a warm, a warm front that's kind of stalled out over, looks like, through... Uh, over western New York, kind of dividing New York in, and dividing Pennsylvania from New Jersey almost. Um, and so we got this stall frontal uh, boundary uh, that we got going on. Uh, before we get to that, let's go to our uh, monthly statistics for ISLIP, which hopefully will work. Um, um, and we're going to look at the monthly uh, summary. So let me go to the monthly weather summary here for ISLIP. And hopefully we have the uh, one for Islip. So, Islip, uh, uh, average maximum high was 58.7. Uh, that is 0.4 degrees above normal. The average minimum, 42.4, was 1.2 degrees above normal. So that gave us a mean of 50.5, which was 0.8 degrees above normal. So almost, almost a full degree above normal for the month at Islip. Precipitation was slightly below normal, um, uh, slightly below normal, 3.45. Normal is 4.06, so slightly below normal on the precipitation. Uh, let's look at Central Park now. Uh, Central Park uh, for April uh, had a uh, average maximum of 63.8. That was 2 degrees above normal. The average minimum 47.4 was 1.9 degrees above normal, so that gave us a mean of 55.6 which is 1.9 or almost 2 degrees above normal. So, yeah, most sites finished above normal. With rainfalls are slightly below normal for the month of April. Um, so that's what it looks like. I can look at JFK, probably a similar story there uh, as well. 1.6 degrees above normal for temperatures there. And precipitation was uh, slightly below normal again. So that seems to be the case with most, most sites. Uh, let's look at Newark. Uh, Newark was uh, 1.8 degrees above normal as well for precipitation uh, for uh, temperature. And precipitation was actually close to normal, so a little more rainfall in Jersey. Um, so ice level. I'm just curious if I, they ever corrected. Uh, I guess there's no way for me to look. If they ever corrected the um, situation for um, the May summary, but I, I meant for the March summary. But you know what? Let's go to the daily report. I'm not going to bother looking at that because they probably didn't. So, ice slip got up to 70 today. Uh, that sun came out. That was 6 degrees above normal. Low of 50 was 4 degrees above normal. Give me an average of 60, which is 5 degrees above normal for the day. And as far as precipitation goes, just a trace. Uh, Central Park uh, got up to 80 today, uh, which is 12 degrees above normal. And a low of 53, 2 degrees above normal, giving, putting them 8 degrees above normal for the day. So, yeah, much warmer as you got away from the coast today. Uh, let's look at our uh, map. You'll see more severe weather taking place in the, in the, uh, in the Midwest. We're not going to be talking about that. Um, so I'm mainly focused on Long Island. Occasionally I'll talk about it, but I'm mainly focused on Long Island. So right now, you see temperatures have dropped into the low 50s. Though in my alley, it's still like 58 degrees. It's almost 60 degrees in my alley still. Uh, I didn't put the thermometer up there, but uh, actually I can put the thermometer up. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to just go scrolling past a ton of pictures here. 
uh, to find it, but I think we can, uh, I think we do have it in here. These are just this, this is just me at Twin Lakes. Well, let's see if I can find it in here. There we are. 62 in the alley. So, that's what I mean. It's so ridiculously warm. 62, that's 10 degrees above normal. I got the air conditioner on the night. I shouldn't need the air conditioner when it's 53 degrees out. But in this place, you do. So, uh, highs... Uh, here's the map on the highs. You can see upper 60s, generally on the south shore. Suffolk County was around 70 degrees, upper 60s, mid 60s, uh, and even some upper 50s. As yeah, the sun probably didn't come out. They were probably stuck in the a stratus deck out east. But where the sun did come out, it definitely got it up above into the 70s, except for the south shore. Mid 70s for our area, uh, and then as you head into the city, there close to 80 degrees. Let's see how Jersey did. Tom's River, yep, 81 degrees at Miller Air Park. However, downtown Tom's River was 74, so there was somewhat of a breeze there. But inland locations definitely soared to around 80 degrees. Uh, and tomorrow it's going to be a lot warmer than today. So looking at the lows tonight, and nothing to write home about again. Well, it's not going to drop that much. Uh, lows are around 50, so above normal, 50 to 55. That's above normal for this time of the year for sure. Uh, so, uh, yeah, another warm one. Uh, let's look at uh, severe outlook for tomorrow. I, that's right. I'm, I said I wasn't going to, but you can see the Midwest is definitely dealing with that. We're gonna we're gonna be dry though, so um, that's the good news. So let's go to the models now and take a look and see what's going to be happening now. So we have this little low pressure area that goes by upstate. That kind of swings the winds around in more of a westerly direction, which may push that back to the front, back east, and heat things up again tomorrow. Uh, and then for Friday, uh, you'll see that we still have high pressure. A cooler high will build down. More of a northeast flow on Friday will keep things cooler. And then right now, it looks like the good news is most of Saturday is looking dry, but we'll have to worry about rain moving in perhaps in the evening, especially Sunday, perhaps. Um, but I'll talk about the weekend in another video. Uh, so let's follow the rest of the week in this, in this video here. Let's go to the HRRR and... Um, You'll see, again, that area, it could just touch off a shower well to the north and east. I don't think we see anything from that. Uh, but you'll see what looks like it brings a front through. And when that low goes to the south, it's going to bring a front through. And you can see the signature of a backdoor high for Friday. Uh, so let's look at the dew points and wind flow. And you will see that... Um, we have a southerly wind tomorrow. Okay, so that's going to help keep Long Island cool. South-southwest wind for the most part. You notice in the afternoon it kind of swings a little westerly, a little more inland there, and that could heat things up briefly. It's still going to be a little bit on the humid side, uh, but with that wind direction it'll be cooler on Long Island, especially along the south shore and further east, which is where you want to be. You don't want to be in Jersey because that's where it's going to be hotter, obviously. But you'll see the winds go to the northwest, and the front's kind of just washes out over us and you can see the winds kind of swinging around so tomorrow night we're going to get that front through and then the wind shift to the east and we'll see those temperatures drop and then we'll have an easterly wind on friday uh which will bring in much more comfortable air friday should be a much more comfortable day than tomorrow uh so temperatures here we go with temperatures and you'll see it's going to blaze in jersey tomorrow uh expect highs well to the mid 80s mid to maybe upper 80s uh maybe 90 isn't out of the question but long island for the most part this is why you don't want, I don't want to live in, wind up having to live in New Jersey, but uh, you'll see Long Island. We'll probably have temperatures in the upper 70s, uh, close to 80 on the North Shore. Mid, mid Island, probably you're going to still see upper 70s. South Shore is going to be a lot cooler, uh, uh, a lot cooler out east as well. Temperatures in the 60s and 50s by the afternoon. Um, and then you'll see those temperatures drop tomorrow night down to like 50, uh, and then much cooler on Friday where we're going to mainly be uh, around 60 degrees, a much more comfortable day for Friday uh, versus tomorrow, which is going to be definitely on the hot side uh, for sure, especially if you're in Jersey and perhaps the city as well. Um, now, looking at clouds, sky cover, um, we can do this because depending on where, there will be more clouds over Long Island. So I'll take the sounding over um, Suffolk County here, and uh, you'll see that if it, if it load. We do have a low cloud deck that would develop. Uh, that would blo that would probably keep it cooler. Now, as you head into Nassau County, a little less of that low cloud deck. 
Uh, but those lines are still pretty close together. And as you go into Jersey, the lines are a little further apart, though it won't be a great-looking sky, not in, the, not in this kind of air mass. It would definitely won't be. Um, so that's what the HRRR is showing. That's totally what I agree with. Um, you can look at the GFS as well. Um, GFS is a lot. Now, GFS is different. So here's a, there are differences here. GFS has a lot different type of situation, has much of Long Island getting close to the 80-degree mark, uh, and that probably is because the GFS is showing less of a sea breeze. Yeah, it is. It's showing more of a west wind, and then it goes to the northwest in the evening. So this is the confusion that we have with Amara. So we have Miles disagreeing on what's going to happen. Is the sea breeze going to win out? Is it not? And it's all going to depend on that sea breeze because if we don't get it, then most of Long Island is going to see close to 80 degrees. Um, though with slightly lower dew points. Uh, and it stays warm, and then here we are for Friday, uh, and you'll see Friday. GFS also showing warmer temperatures. So GFS uh, probably hinting at more sunshine uh, versus the HRRR. You see it could still hit 70 in the central part of Long Island on Friday uh, with uh, temperatures in New Jersey, maybe a little bit cooler. Um, so it's kind of interesting. So let's take a look at the, some, some of these soundings on the GFS because there's two there's differences here in the models uh, still showing a lot of cloud cover um, but it'll be a hazy uh, type of sky and a lot of cloud cover again but again it would be enough that it would allow the sun through and heat it up uh, for Friday we're gonna probably see a lot of cloud cover as well so uh, it's interesting that it gets that warm with all that cloud cover it's probably because it's mostly of the higher variety uh, but let's go and look at the cloud models here and you'll see GFS is showing just a lot of uh, uh, probably a hazy sunshine like we had um, on uh, what was the really warm day Monday, um, but um, probably be similar to that tomorrow perhaps if we get that westerly flow um, and then Friday we'll see more in the way of clouds obviously so let's go to the RGM model here. Now, RGM is showing a, a, a totally different story. So the RGM is barely having any clouds at all. Maybe some off the east end. Well, again, there could still be jet junk and haze possible. And then for Friday, it's showing more in the way of clouds, um, lower clouds, and then higher clouds coming in toward the afternoon. So, But still, uh, we're still going to get sunshine both days. And look at that. Even for Saturday, it's showing sunshine with some uh, mid and high clouds perhaps. So, um, and then Saturday would also be cooler, but we'll talk about Saturday um, tomorrow night or more likely Friday night. Uh, we'll talk about Saturday, but right now Saturday looking better than originally we feared. Uh, so that's at least some good news because we got that high building down. It's going to keep that front a little kept more further to the west and keep the rain away, hopefully, because we don't want rain on Saturday. You know, it rained last Saturday, too, or in the evening, but I mean... I. I don't want any rain on Saturday. If we can keep it dry the whole day, that would be good. Uh, but we'll talk about that Friday night. when We have more models to look at. Um, so let me go to the Ventu Sky next. And I want to point something out to you. So um, let's look at Thursday. So you can see this is the, uh, this is the HRRR model. And you can see it's got the hot west wind over Jersey in mid-80s. But it's got a sea breeze in 70s for Long Island. So this this is what the HRRR is showing at 3 o'clock. But if I change it to the GFS, it's got it's got the heat more spread out, and we got more of a west wind over Long Island. So there is a bit of a difference between the two models here, uh, and that's something to keep in mind here. And as we go to Friday, a lot cooler with that southeast wind, the east wind coming in. So, uh, But it will be warmer than the marks, but it could be hot. It's actually showing 90 degrees possible in Tom's River. The uh, 90, that's the icon model. Some of it went over to the icon model uh, for tomorrow. Uh, so you'll see here, definitely showing possibly 90 degrees. It's supposed to be automatic is what I was supposed to put it on. Uh, but uh, 90 degrees possible in Tom's River. I can actually show the cloud cover on this, too, and you can see. This kind of shows that Long Island might have a cloud deck over it, particularly with Suffolk keeping the temperatures cooler. And then uh, West Jersey and then Nassau County would have the sun out, and it would be warmer in these areas where the sun is out. So it's going to be highly variable temperatures tomorrow. But either way, I'll have to have the AC on because that alley is going to be hot as hell. So um, 
anyway, uh, let's go to the... Um, there's one other thing I want to talk about, and there was a big volcano eruption. Uh, Ruang actually erupted, uh, which is a volcano in Indonesia. We're going to go to this view here and can actually maybe uh, take a look at it and see. I think it's this one right there. Yeah, this is yesterday. So this is yesterday. You can see this big cloud here. That's all ash. And this volcano may have put enough ash up into the stratosphere. Perhaps, and I'm praying, and we need these volcanoes to erupt. Yeah, I know they're very destructive to the local area, but uh, it's the planet really trying to, you know, save itself at this point from the climate change. And one of the best ways to do that is to f put these fine sulfur particles into the upper atmosphere, uh, reflect the sunlight, less solar radiation to the surface, cools the planet, and that reverses the effects of climate change. And it buys us some time. But again, humanity, especially in this country, they're they're sucking on the tailpipes of pickup trucks. So I don't uh, don't expect anybody to learn anything now. I don't see, and unfortunately, I don't see any more ash over here. Let's see where the ash cloud went. I don't know. Probably wasn't a big enough eruption, but we'll have to see. We'll have to watch. It may have an effect, uh, and hopefully, the right kind of effect. Because um, hunga tunga hunga ha pa, I put a lot of wood of vapor into the upper atmosphere, which the greenhouse gas can actually contributed to global warming but this volcano if it put enough ash up there hopefully can cool things down a little bit I remember what happened after mount pinatubo so i'm hoping and praying uh but uh either way it's still too late we're still gonna have a very brutal summer and i'm not looking forward to it and stay tuned on, on the next i'll try to get it done tonight or by the morning uh my mental health update i'm going to talk about how i'm dreading spending another summer here it's just uh, it's going to be brutal. Anyway, have a good night.